You be like, hey yo, what's the price? Yikes, when it come to me, I do nothing twice. Yikes, two, two, three, got you taken. Everyone has multiple ring cameras. His friends, they live here too. He's always lurking around, prowling around. You put a ring camera on a vacant apartment watching him. That's like obsession. That's a problem. That's my only son. I'm gonna miss it. Grandma. Lord, help me. Somebody tell him in, Lord, tell him in. On Tuesday, April 9th, 2024, Jackson police responded to a that occurred at the Tapestry Northridge Apartments in Jackson, Mississippi. Upon arrival, police found a man deceased <laughs> times and hit with a blunt object. The victim was identified as 25-year-old Carlos Collins. Family members allege that a former police officer, 33-year-old Marcus Johnson, is the person responsible. Marcus and Carlos were previously in a relationship and Carlos had filed a restraining order against Marcus. He believed his ex-boyfriend had been stalking him and visited the Jackson Police Department multiple times to report it. My, that's my only son. And I'm gonna miss it. Grandma. 25-year-old Carlos Collins was early Tuesday morning, heading back to his apartment after work. I would rather him me beat me with an ex. Not my baby. Not him. Police say they are looking for Marcus Johnson, a former Jackson police officer. A crowd of Collins' family and friends gathered outside the scene as they got the awful news this morning. And emotions were high. <laughs> they say Collins had multiple restraining orders against Johnson for several months. Marcus Johnson, an ex boyfriend of his and who Carlos had restraining order on. Everyone has multiple ring cameras. His friends, they live here too. He's always lurking around, prowling around. You put a ring camera on a vacant apartment watching him. That's like obsession. That's a problem. And I feel like the law should have protected him and they failed him multiple times. The family has one thing left to say to the one responsible. We the family of Carlos Collins asking you, Marcus Johnson, turn yourself in, please. Turn yourself in. Why would you take my uncle? We love your uncle. Tell him about your uncle. Tell him how you feel about your uncle. I'm sad. I want him back. Police confirmed that investigators were looking for Marcus, who had not been an active member of the force since 2013. He resigned before he was terminated. In April 2014, it said he had a police badge and impersonated an officer when he wrote a female Jackson State University student a ticket. He then allegedly told the unidentified female that he would discard the ticket if she agreed to sleep with him. Marcus was later taken into custody and found to have been in possession of a stolen police radio and an old ticket book. Marcus also used the current officer's badge number in the incident. Who says Johnson followed my son to M Bar. And Marcus was sitting in a booth behind him. Hudson says Carlos filed a restraining order against Johnson, and some of her family members asked Marcus to leave that evening. That's when security was alerted. But the security guards at M Bar said that they couldn't do anything because they didn't actively have the restraining order there. Johnson is no stranger to the judicial system. Several misdemeanor charges were brought up against Johnson. They included making annoying phone calls to an individual back in 2018 and stealing an iPad from a church back in 2022 while working security. Two felony charges in Ridgeland from 2009 were also revealed, one being in possession of burglary tools and the other on false pretense. Johnson was never convicted of those crimes. So leading up to this morning. I feared if they had arrested him Saturday night, my son still would be alive. Police, I want you to find Marcus for killing my uncle at night. Alicia Hudson, Carlos's sister, said the two had dated for about a year, but that ended in late 2023. In the months that followed, 
Alicia said that Carlos found air tags and trackers on his car and that of a friend's, as well as a ring camera he believed Marcus had installed at a vacant apartment nearby to watch him. Family members said that Carlos had filed several restraining orders against Marcus, but the stalking-like behavior continued. Saturday night, Carlos and Alicia went to the M bar in Jackson to celebrate a family member's birthday, which family members said was disrupted when they learned that Marcus allegedly followed Carlos and was seated directly behind them. I talked to six people this morning that I hope and pray come forward. I hope that these six people come through and tell how you have stopped them at work, how you have stopped them at their homes, how you have visited their family's house, how you encountered them in the bathroom and wouldn't let them out while you've been a security guard, how you pulled them over and given them false teeth. Jackson police issued warrants for the apprehension of Marcus Johnson in connection with the fatal shooting. On Wednesday, Jackson police pursued Marcus in a car chase that ended 126 miles away in Monroe, Louisiana. Police had been searching for Marcus when he was spotted by a deputy with the Warren County Sheriff's Office. Marcus was driving a black Honda Accord that was listed as possibly being occupied by a homicide suspect from Jackson. Marcus was eventually taken into custody after leading several law enforcement agencies on a high-speed chase. A former Jackson police officer wanted from and on the run has now been caught. 33-year-old Marcus Johnson was taken into custody this evening after a chase that crossed over from Warren County into Louisiana. Johnson was considered armed and dangerous. He was wanted for 25-year-old Carlos Collins. Johnson is charged with and into an occupied dwelling. Johnson was spotted in Vicksburg in a black Honda Accord after a bulletin from JPD. MHP and Warren County deputies were involved in the chase into Rayville, Louisiana. Warren County Sheriff Martin Pace says the chase reached speeds near 100 miles an hour. Johnson worked with JPD for eight months in 2013. He faced disciplinary action and resigned before his termination from the department. Johnson was taken into custody tonight after officers were able to deflate his tires. He was taken away by ambulance, but he's now being held at the Richland Parish Detention Center in Rayville. How does it feel to be back at TV? p.m. Detectives brought in 33 year old Marcus Johnson back to JPD after being away for quite some time. Video captures the moment the detectives took him in for questioning. Now he did not say anything as he was escorted inside. Family members said Carlos grew up in nursing and was a registered nurse like his mother, Ashla Hudson. The family says Collins was taken too early as he was pursuing to further his education in the medical field. Collins took after his mother, Ashla Hudson, in becoming a registered nurse at the Baptist Medical Center. When he graduated high school, um, he wanted to go following my footsteps. I am an LPN of 18 years, and he was involved in my nursing. He went with me for community services, and he grew in nursing, and I always told him, go and be better than me, and he did. You're just blessing me for this accomplishment, and I just want y'all to continue to do everything that y'all do for me, and just I blessing me, I, and God, I just hope that God continues to bless Ma. me mm -hmm. in my future I need career. Oh. And I just want to thank y'all so we much. We love you. I thank y'all for celebrating with me and coming. Hudson says her son was compassionate and loved taking care of the sick. She says he was also a family man and would do anything in his capacity to help them out. He always wanted us to be okay. He made sure that we had what we needed. Um, he made sure that if it was in his will, 
he would make sure that his family was taken care of from the oldest to the youngest. Our sincere thoughts and prayers go out to the Collins family. It's crazy that failed relationships seem to be the leading cause of death these days. Oftentimes everything's all good until it's not. And that's when you see the ugly in a person. Other times, the signs and red flags are there, but we choose to ignore them. A judge denies bond for the former Jackson police officer charged with the murder of a local nurse. Marcus Johnson is accused of shooting and killing 25-year-old Carlos Collins inside his North Jackson apartment Tuesday morning. In court, 16 WAPT learned Collins had a ring doorbell video, and detectives say the whole was caught on camera. Filled with lots of emotions, both inside and outside the courtroom, Carlos Collins' mother, Ashla Hudson, and her family did not hold back. My brother was a light, a light in this dark world. Even now that he's gone, he's still overpowering the darkness that Marcus bestowed upon him. My brother will live on. The family has questions as to why it was never mentioned in court that Johnson was a former Jackson police officer. I feel like my brother might not get justice if it stays in his district. Judge June Hardwick denied bun for Johnson in municipal court Friday after considering all the facts. She says he's considered a flight risk. Johnson's attorney on hand clapping back saying not so fast. He said his client does deserve bun because the entire incident was in self-defense. By him as saying that he was, he was, wanted it to be considered self-defense. You had no business up there. Detectives inside the courtroom revealed an ax was involved in the gruesome attack on Collins. The incident was captured on his ring surveillance camera. Even though Johnson is behind bars, Hudson believes Johnson's ties to JPD will not work in her son's favor for getting justice. My son will not get a fair trial here in Jackson, Mississippi and I really want his body moved from the Mississippi, period. Nothing here is being done correctly. And we want justice for Carlos. That's what we want. And a lot of things are going to be revealed. Don't think it's over now. We need to understand the police cannot and will not protect us from being victims. Their job is to react after a crime has been committed. And yeah, stalking is a crime, but unless the individual stays or is caught on scene, there's not much police can do. But let me know your thoughts down below. And if you haven't already, and you dig in the content, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I got more of them coming and I'ma catch you in the next one. Over the past week, over the past week now, let me read down your charges, what you went through over the past week. Not, not going back to 2014, where you were convicted of impersonating a police officer after you was fired at the age of 20 from the Jackson Police Department. You were fired at 20 as a police officer because you failed psych evaluations. So this is his record, y'all. He's been convicted of manslaughter. He was fired from the JPD for failing a psycho psychological evaluation. Um, this week alone, he was arrested on Sunday for violating the restraining order. Last week, when y'all got to fight, you stole his key. You went to jail for violating the restraining order. You made a copy of the key once you got out of jail. Last night, uh, he was only in his new place for a month. For one month before you used the key, went in there and killed him. Yikes, you'll be like, hey yo, what's the price? Yikes, when it come to me, I do nothing twice. Yikes, two, two, three, got you taking.